Right, okay. Thank you, Rob, for coming to my caddy. Officer safety, please. It's the start of the day at Widnes Police Station, and the morning shift officers are attending their daily briefing session. At this time, was in possession of a large kitchen knife. If anyone had apprehended, whilst he was holding the knife, he would have stabbed him without remorse. Thanks very much for coming. Make sure you get some drinks after it's warm up today. All right, thanks, guys. Police constables Callum Taylor and Lee Hilliard leave the station to start their patrol. Within minutes, the two officers get an emergency call to Runcorn Bridge, where someone has been spotted climbing, creating a hazard for both themselves and motorists. <laughs> Officer Hilliard stops the traffic, while Officer Taylor jumps out to chase down the two suspects. The officers receive live information about the incident and a visual description of the two men they're looking for. The bridge is quite a busy, busy area. Uh, we need to make sure that we're obviously speaking to the, the correct people. I was able to look at the specific male that we're looking for, able to get a picture of that male, help confirm the identity. Sometimes there are people that do give us false information, false details. The tablet allows us to look that person up if we've previously encountered them. After they've been identified and questioned, the men are advised against climbing on the bridge and allowed to go. PC Natalie Ford is heading to Wilco's, where two known suspects have been caught on CCTV shoplifting. She needs to take a statement from the manager so the suspect can be brought in for questioning. Our makeup representative, she came up and she said, you know, she'd filled the whole unit up. And then when she went back downstairs, it was empty. I take it you've then come back up, yeah. gone through your footage, mm -hmm. and then identified it from there. OK, right, what I'm going to need now for you, Vicky, is a signature. A signature section. I'm just asking okay. to use that. Just on the, the line, if you just do a, a signature, you'll have a signature on there, please. OK, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right. No See you again, no yeah. doubt. Giving a statement can be quite a lengthy procedure. However, in the instance of Wilkinson's, it took me 10, 15 minutes, whereas normally if I was doing that by hand, it could take me up to 45 minutes. It's better for the company, better for us, a uh, much more efficient way of working. And once uh, the statement is completed and signed, it's automatically attached to the occurrence. So any officer that then picks up that job uh, once the person's in custody has got access to that statement. PC Hilliard is visiting a victim after he and his dog were recently attacked by another dog in public. The officer mediates by recording the statements of each person involved and overseeing payment to cover vets' bills. I photocopied all these on now, the receipts, so they're stored on here. Yeah. Um, all right, yeah. What we're going to do now, we've arranged a meeting on Wednesday at two o'clock, half past two, is that all right with you? Yeah. At yeah. the community centre. How's Sammy doing? All right, yeah, well, not so bad. It's not uh, so bad. Getting around. <laughs> <laughs> the sales wagon again, like, that's the main thing. All I need now for most of my duties is that tablet as opposed to a big bag I used to carry with different files and different paperwork. It takes away a lot of waiting and driving to and from the station. So we can effectively come out in the morning and sit there and we're done for the day. Out in the community, PCSO Steve Marnock is dealing with complaints from residents about nuisance parking. He's using his surface to take photos of illegally parked cars as evidence. I've given you a ticket because yeah. you're parked on double yellow lines, but I'm not yeah. going to caution you because I've already given you the ticket. So the ticket tells you why you've been charged £30 for parking on the double yellow lines. Basically now I'm just going to put on some social media, uh, for Twitter and Facebook for witness police, uh, the fact that we've issued another fixed penalty ticket. In fact, three, but I'll just show one um, to the problem location because we received further complaints about parking in that particular street in Witness. It's useful because it's almost instant, like everything else now. It seems to be people want it as it's happening, it's almost live. It keeps your workload down because um, there was an awful lot of work that you had to catch up at the end of the day when you get back to the office. 
um, four o'clock, five o'clock, and then you'd spend half an hour, 40 minutes just on admin type of work when you could actually do it there and then. He was on the train track. It's nearing the end of her shift, and yeah. PC Ford is responding to an emergency call to locate a missing person whose family are worried for his safety. The good thing again about us having these tablets is obviously this is a job where we need a really fast response. This is like life and limb where we've got to get there and get someone safe. So instantly we can see what they look like by checking on our tablet while we're still out and about. I mean, a lot of the time, if we get a generic description, it, it, it could be anybody. It's only when you can look at someone's real picture, you know what you're looking for. So it's so beneficial to us. It keeps us out and about. It saves dragging us back in to look at something when we need to respond and we need to be out looking for someone who's at risk. Last time he was found, he was in a diabetic coma under the bridge. With no sign of the missing man at the railway bridge, PC Ford goes to one of his well-known hangouts to check there. Is that right if I just show you this picture, this male that we're looking for? This is him. Oh, yeah, I do recognise him. Do you know him? He doesn't come in here very often. Not often. So if he comes in tonight, will you give us a call? Because yeah, we're concerned about his well-being yeah, at the fine. minute. Brilliant. Yeah. Thank you very much. A lot has changed in policing operations to help witness police serve the local community. PC Pete Cole was a key team member driving the adoption of new tools and methods throughout the force. I'm proud um, that we've made such a significant impact um, on the, the service we provide to the public um, and the well-being of the officers as well. This is something that the officers have called for for a long time uh, and allows them to be more professional, um, to meet the needs of the public that they're serving um, and to be happier in their jobs.